All right, here we go, guys. And we have a very interesting video today. And in with the new and out with the old type video. And many of you guys on the channel know my good friend, John Sweeney, who owned the original, the OG Jigging Jerks boat with me, a Cobia 256. Just a fantastic boat that Sweeney and I owned for the better part of three years. Um, we sold the boat in 2019. I went on to start my chartering business, needed a bigger boat. Hence, I bought my CV. And in 2020, and actually in 2019, Sweeney put the order in and it was finally completed in 2020. And that's the boat we're going to, one of the two boats we're going to talk about today, Sweeney's beautiful Pair Customs 21. Now, about a month ago, he upgraded boats, and we'll go over what kind of boat and why is he doing this a bit later in the video. But first, let's discuss the boat he's selling, the Pair Custom 21. And it's a boat that's been featured on my channel numerous times over the past uh, few years. It's a boat I fished on extensively during the winter months where I go down to Florida. Sweeney's a, a snowbird. He spends, he spends his winters in Marco Island in southwest Florida. And I'm down for a couple of months, and whenever I can, I jump on the boat with him. And um, let's get some of the specs of the boat out of the way in the first instance, the boat and its trailer. The boat itself is a fully bracketed boat. It's 21 feet from bow to the end of the transom. That measurement does not include its port of bracket. It does not have a Euro transom, so even though it's 21 feet, it's really a fully usable 21-foot boat. No forward seating, tons of fishing room on this boat. Uh, the overall length with the engine and the small bracket is 23 and a half feet. The beam is 8.6, 8 feet 6 inches, which makes it pretty easy to trailer. It holds 80 gallons of fuel, and its dead rise is 14 degrees. But don't let the dead rise fool you. Um, you know, I mentioned Sweeney spends his winters in southwest Florida. And the shallower dead rise allows him to fish for trout, redfish, sheep's head um, inside. And those of you that know Southwest Florida know how shallow the waters can be. It can actually be really treacherous. You really have to stay in the channels. And if you want to get on some of the good fishing, the inshore fishing, you got to go really skinny, sometimes uh, around two feet or sometimes a little less than that. And that's what the shallower dead rise lets you do. It lets you get in shallow. But we've taken this boat. I've been on the boat when we've been 40 miles out, and I've been on the boat when the seas have picked up unexpectedly, and we're showing some running footage right now of that. And although you'll have to slow down and you might get a little wet, you'll never feel unsafe. I know I didn't. I, I, and again, we've been, the Gulf of Mexico in the winter months can be a pretty harrowing place to fish. And again, I've never felt unsafe in this boat. Um Let's go back to some of the specs on the boat. Its engine, it's got a 200 Suzuki on it, 2020 fly-by-wire, about 430 hours, and it's warrantied until 2026, which is fantastic. The new buyer will have the comfort of knowing if something goes wrong with the boat, you still will have a warranty until 2026, or something goes wrong with the engine, that is. Um, and, and it literally burns no gas. I per personally witnessed the boat sipping fuel. There are days where we're not even burning 15 gallons and we've gone 30 miles offshore into the Gulf. It's just amazing. Somebody who's, you know, my, my CV, a run to Montauk, uh, about the same distance as where Sweeney and I would run out in the Gulf might, might burn 60 gallons. And this boat is burning 15 gallons. Um, it's got some great electronics on it as well. A just we need sent it in, had it redone, a 15-inch Hummingbird Solix that's networked into the Minkota Tarova 72-inch trolling motor. Um, and sadly for me, the boat also has a pretty kicking sound system. And I say sadly because Sweeney really loves to play his crappy music on our trips, and it really annoys me, and it's a running joke between us. But if you have some good music available to you, something like Motley Crue, Guns N' Roses, or The Carpenters, uh, you can blast your songs on the radio, which does feature Bluetooth, a 1500 watt amp, and lots of speakers throughout the boat. The Bear also has a very large live well in the stern and a, just a ton of storage throughout, including 
uh, little cubby holes and glove boxes at the helm for wallets, keys, etc. And a big storage area in the bow, as well as lots of room in the larger console. And Pair has two different types of consoles for the 21. Sweeney opted for the larger one. Um, and speaking of the console, you, you know, we're running pictures as we're doing this. And you'll see all the wiring is really neatly done and organized. And the boat features... Group 31 AGM batteries that are also very neatly stored inside the console. Um, a load right trailer is also included, and it's really in excellent condition. Features Kodiak stainless steel uh, brakes, calipers. It has Dexter hubs and bearings and Goodyear endurance tires. Um, Sweeney's very anal about his maintenance on the trailer since he does bring the boat uh, once a year to the Northeast from Florida, typically in the May, June timeframe. And then in the November timeframe, he trailers the boat back to Florida. No bottom paint on the boat. When he has it in Florida, it's on a lift. When he has it in New York, he brings it to a local ramp to go fishing. Um, you might be wondering what the price is. Mr. Sweeney is looking for 69500 for the boat, um, which again includes a trailer and a great electronics package. And if you watch any of my boat show videos, I think you'll agree, agree that it's a, a pretty fair price for what you're getting. Again, considering the condition of the boat, the trailer, its fishability, the great electronics, the warranty on the engine, and all the other just stuff, uh, all the other stuff we just discussed. Um, now, now let's pivot to his new boat. And by, by new, I mean new to him, it's a used boat. Um, and specifically, it's a 2005 Glacier Bay 2680. Yes, Sweeney is making the jump to a catamaran. Sound familiar? Uh, it should. Um, and this model, the 2680, is a pilot house model, which is really unique. It's I, I think they made very few of these. But again, those of you that follow the channel know that I really like pilot houses. I've owned one myself. Actually, I've owned two if you consider my Everglades 290 pilot. And it's just a great way to get out of the elements when you're fishing. Um, specific to this boat, it's powered by twin F-150s with about 800 hours on them. I have not yet seen the boat in person. But when Sweeney brings it up north sometime in late May, early June, I will absolutely do a full review on it. I actually can't wait. Um, now let's pivot to the question on the why he's doing this. Why is he switching from a boat that he absolutely loved to this larger, harder to trailer pilot house model? Well, Mr. Sweeney was introduced into the world of fishing by his dad, Jack. And those of us who know Jack know he is one of the all-time good guys you will ever meet. And like all of us, Jack is getting older. And with the pair, as Sweeney has it configured without a T-top, it's really not a boat meant for older folks who want to run 30 to 40 miles into the ocean, as, as we do, as Sweeney does, um, during the peak months of you know late June, July, August into September during our fluke seasons. He also wants to be able to take him, take his dad, tog fishing during the cool fall months, a 26 foot catamaran with its smooth ride and stability is a great option to accomplish this. And with a pilot house, head compartment, sleeping quarters, it will let Jack get out of the elements as needed during those times. Uh, interestingly, right, every time you change boats, it can have collateral effects that you weren't expecting. I know when I bought my CV, I needed a bigger dock. Uh, well, Sweeney plans on trailering the boat each summer to the Northeast from Florida, and then back to Florida each November, like he's doing now with the pair. The much larger Glacier Bay, however, really needs at least a one-ton truck to handle the 1,300-mile drive. So in addition to the new Glacier Bay, Sweeney has picked up a 2001 Dodge Ram 2500, with the 5.9 Cummings, and since it's an 01, it critically doesn't have all the diesel emissions garbage that all the newer diesel trucks are saddled with. Um, uh, uh, Sweeney previously trailered the pair with a, a Jeep Grand Cherokee. It, it's not really a heavy boat, 8.6 bean, uh, dual axle trailer. Uh, did it very easily with the, with the Cherokee. Sadly, even though the Cherokee is a strong truck with a Hemi, it's not really designed to trailer a boat this large, those uh, lo you know, longer distances. 
congrats to Sweeney on the new rides. I can't wait to see the boat in person. And maybe more importantly, congrats also to Jack Sweeney for raising such a good son who wants to pay back all the great fishing memories you created for him when he was a young man. If you're interested in Sweeney's Pair Custom, please check out the description. I'll have Sweeney's email details. You can email Sweeney directly with any questions, or if you want to discuss it with him, he'll provide you his phone number. Thanks again for watching this. As always, if you like these videos, please hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing.